With all the construction at the airport and changes being made, the airport stands that sell Lays say customers are getting lost in the transition, costing them thousands of dollars. Kimberly Speakman spoke to Lay stand owners and workers. Kimberly? Joe, there will be about 3,100 signs changed throughout the airport. Now, the lay stand workers that I spoke to say that they hope better signs will direct people to their stands. The lay stands in front of the airport have been around for decades, but workers say visitors and even locals are getting lost. And they ask what happened to the signs. I mean, we don't, you know, we see the sign for rent a car return, but we don't see a sign for the lay stand. What happened? They say because people are unable to see or follow the signs, it's been hurting their business. I get like maybe three to four phone calls a day, and it's constant complaining. I get people from the mainland that calls me up and complaining because they, they don't want to pick up their order because they can't find us. One customer was so upset. He was, I think he was ranting about 10 minutes just to let, let off steam. You know, it took me so long to get here, and I'm supposed to meet someone here. The Department of Transportation says change will be coming to the lay stand signs. The whole signage system is being changed out, including the lay stand signs. So um, they are in the process of being installed. Um, they will be put up, uh, including additional stands for the lay stands, um, you know, will be put up, um, you know, to match all the other new signage as well. But he says it may still take some time before you start to see these changes. It's not just the signs. Again, it's the sign structures, it's the pillars, it's the electrical. He says they're about halfway through the process of changing all the signs. The sign replacement costs about $23 million and is expected to be completed next year. Joe.